Today we got a really fun cook, jalapeno popper burgers. I'm going to cook these today on the pit barrel cooker because it's got quite a bit of height and that bacon dripping down. We won't get too bad of a flare up. Let's get the pit barrel going. One stick of cream cheese, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one half cup of a Mexican blend. Hey, put in as many jalapenos as you want. That is two fairly large ones. You can see here on the side I still have some left. Let me get this worked in and we'll see if we need any more jalapeno. We've got it worked in pretty good. And you can see about how much jalapeno is in it. I think that's going to be good for me. So we'll leave this other, I, I don't know, that's probably a half or a third of one. Like I said, I had two fairly large ones when I started. We'll leave that out. Now let's get to our burger. I've got one pound of ground beef here. So split this guy in half. And then I'm going to split each one of these in half. make the our burger halves and you decide how thick you want to make them but remember we're going to have two halves here so I'll set that one like so and do something similar to this half here and we'll repeat for the other one. What I've done here is just kind of made a little lip, cup, whatever you want to call it, around each of these guys. And that'll help us when we go to put the uh, jalapeno popper stuffing in it. Just put a little bit in each one. Now you may have a little oozing and goozing, but just all the better. Now we'll take this half, put it on top, and then just do the best you can to seal these bad boys up. I've got some really, really long bacon, as you can see, super thin. So what I'm going to do is take three pieces. I'm actually going to take four pieces of bacon, get our burger up, and what you want to do is wrap around and alternating each piece as I'm doing here. You'll see that just about covers that entire burger. In fact, it will cover it by the time we're done. If you want less bacon, go with less bacon. The bacon makes everything better. And that's the way I'm doing these bad boys. Now at this point, you can salt and pepper them up. I'm gonna use the armadillo pepper beef rub. You can use your favorite beef rub. If you wanna know more about this rub, I'll put a link up in the description box. Just about empty. Turn it over, get both sides. And then, I think we're ready get back to this pit barrel cooker. Got a nice smoke going off that eucalyptus wood. <coughs> Going to place both of our burgers on here like so. No wood today. This eucalyptus, I said wood earlier, this eucalyptus lump charcoal is going to be all we need to get a nice smoke flavor. 
we've got our burger there. Gonna put a little tomato on there, even though it's not the ripest one in the world. A little lettuce. Not a lot, right? Me personally, I have to have mustard on a burger. Get our lid on this bad boy. Now I'm gonna cut it right down the middle so we can see what it looks like on the inside. There she is, jalapeno popper burger. All right, so it's too big for my mouth, as big as my mouth is, but let's go. Absolutely flavor, delicious. Some of my viewers don't like a lot of spice. If you're worried about spice, either those were mild jalapenos, or we didn't put enough jalapenos in there because it is not too spicy at all. I get the cream cheese, I get the flavor of the jalapenos, I get a little uh, salt pepper from that armadillo pepper rub. That Angus beef still got a great flavor. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button.